Hey everybody, Brian Bennett here. I am making a video today because I gave this keynote in Michigan on January 19th and I used a, uh, a presentation format called Impress and it's a JavaScript that was written by a guy named um, Bartek and I don't remember his last name off the top of my head but his link is in the description so you can see it down below but essentially what it does is it takes some web information and his JavaScript, this program that he wrote makes it look really slick and part of what I learned how to do when I found this program is write HTML and CSS. So I'm going to go through and show you just some of the basics I guess of um, what this program can do and a lot of what I learned actually came from finding this and getting interested in it. So essentially what's going on is there are three scripts or three languages interacting right now in the web browser. There's JavaScript which makes it look smooth and clean. Um, all the movement you see, all the positioning that you see is JavaScript. Uh, we're not going to get into that today just because uh, I'm not very good at JavaScript. It's something I'm still learning and I'm, to be totally honest I'm not exactly sure how the JavaScript connects. I just haven't gotten to that point yet. The second language is called HTML. And this is what makes the web uh, work, essentially. It's a language that is full of content. And uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit of HTML today. And then the third program is CSS, and that stands for Cascading Style Sheet. And it makes the website or the program or whatever you're working with look the way it looks. And HTML and CSS are very easy to pick up, and there's a lot of great resources on the web. And again, like I said, when I found Impress, it kind of got me interested in learning HTML and JavaScript, and it's where I am today. So here Here's the final presentation. I'm going to show you another program. This is called Komodo, and this is a free uh, text editor, but it, what it allows me to do is write HTML and CSS, and it, it marks it up, and so I can look quickly for syntax errors and changes, and it also proofreads and does some other cool stuff. So again, I've also linked this in the description if you're interested in using it. So this language right here is called HTML, and HTML is built in a hierarchy and there are different things that we can look for specifically in HTML and the one that I'm going to point out right now is called a div and a div element is a block of information in a website. Now it, uh, if you click on this button over here this link will take you uh, to a quick tutorial I did for some students on div elements and you can learn about that really quick but essentially what we're looking for, if we're, I'm going to just scroll down here this is a div element. Okay, I just highlighted on the screen. So div, it starts with this with a caret, with an open caret, and div, and now the ID, the class, and the data are what make Impress work the way it does. And ID lets us find this div as we are styling it. So we'll come back to that in just a second when we look at the CSS. The class element. Uh, the difference between an ID and a class is that a class can be used more than once. So every class in my uh, Impress presentation has this class step with it because that's what the JavaScript looks for to make it do that transition. And then we've got data X and data Y. And data X and Y tell it where to position. And then you can even see data Z tells us where to position forward and backwards. And then the data rotate tells us if we're going to rotate around something. So what I'll be doing is I'll be jumping back and forth between this screen and then the, the impress screen to show you exactly what's happening. The second piece of this that I learned how to edit is the CSS. And this is the styling of all of the website. And you can find a lot of CSS tutorials and HTML tutorials out there, but essentially what we've got, um, we've got titles here. So anything that is within an HTML bracket is going to have this background image, that blueprint image. The body is where all of our content is held. Uh, I'm going to show you a different one. So what we're looking for... Uh, here's that step class that I mentioned. So this is called multiple times throughout the presentation. It sets some general guidelines for the size and the position of these uh, of those items. And then what we want to look for here is our individual screens. So here's the intro. This is that one I showed you a minute ago. So this has, back in the HTML, this intro div. Uh, let's scroll back up. So this intro div is a step class. It's positioned, and then here is our content. Welcome to the Michigan Flip Learning Conference. So it, a lot of this jumps back and forth. So when we're looking, when we're learning how to read code, essentially, is what we're looking for is we're looking for these div items, and then I, I can transfer that to the website. So that first div, that ID one, this is the content. Now if we go back to our code, our second div 
we've ID'd it as sponsors. It's a step class, so the JavaScript will move to that in a smooth transition. And then I've got some other links here. So I've got pictures, images. So if I go back here and I go to the next slide, I've got my four pictures. And you can learn about positioning and things like that. Uh, on your own time. The third slide is my name division where I introduced myself to the audience and if we go we can step forward to that division and I have an image here as well. So all of these elements, all these basic building blocks I'm layering together to create a large presentation. So what I want to encourage you to do is take a look at this and to, to learn about this if you right click on any web page, and I'm in Chrome right now, you can go to view page source and it'll open up in a new tab and it'll give you all of that code I was just showing you. So you can make the connection between the code in a web page and some of the content of the web page. And this is again where I started to learn. So awesome. Thank you very much to Bartok uh, for creating Impress. And again, both of the links I mentioned are in the video description.